Hi there, I'm Nicole Young. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can put a photograph inside of a circle and save it with a transparent background. And if you stick around to the end, I'm also gonna show you how you can use a custom shape so you don't just have to stick to a standard circle or square shape for your photo. So let's go ahead and jump over to Photoshop and get started. I have a JPEG image open and you can see in my layers panel, there's a single layer and that one layer is my background. What I want to do is go over to the toolbar and access that shape tool. Right now you can see that I have the rectangle tool selected, but if I right click, I have some other options to choose from. And that's where I'll choose the ellipse tool, which is what's going to help me create that circle. Now, if you want to just quickly cycle through those to jump to it without having to do that right click and choose the option you want, you can do that quickly with a keyboard shortcut. To access the shape tool, you'll use that keyboard shortcut U. And if you want to cycle through those shapes, press and hold the shift key while clicking the U key and you can see there that it's cycling through each of those shapes. Next, I'm gonna go over to my image. I'm going to click and start dragging. Now you can see it's just going to start creating an oval, but if you want it to be a perfect circle, press and hold that shift key while you're drawing your circle and it's going to actually create that nice perfect circle for you. If you'd like to reposition your shape while you're actually creating it, press that space bar and hold it, and then you can drag the shape around without having to either start over or relocating it after the fact. So I've released everything and you can see that I've created my shape. And what I have here is I have a transparent shape with a pink stroke or a border around it. If I go up to the top, I can see those options. The fill is set to nothing. And that stroke is a quite large pink stroke around the circle. Now for this setup, you're going to want to change this. So the stroke is transparent and the fill is just set to any color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that stroke color and change it to transparent. And then I'll go up to fill and I'll go ahead and just choose any of these colors. It doesn't really matter which color you choose for this because it's going to be filled anyways by the photograph. I'm finished creating that shape. I'm just gonna press that H tool to go over to my hand tool to kind of clear those guides around that circle. Next, I'm gonna go over to the layers panel. What I want to do is I want to move the background layer above the circle that I just created. Now, because it's a background layer, you can't actually move it because it's locked. To unlock it, it's really simple. Click that little lock icon, and now I have a standard layer. So I'm gonna take that layer and drag it above the circle, and then I'm gonna hover right in between those two lines, press and hold the Option or Alt key, and then when you see that icon change, click, and that clips the image layer into that circle shape. So if we look at our image, you can see that I now have my photograph inside of that circle. If you wanted to make any adjustments to this after the fact, it's really easy. You can do it either by moving things around or using the transform tool. So for example, if I wanted to kind of reposition my flower photo, I wanna make sure I have the layer selected there in the layers panel, and I'll go ahead and access my move tool by using the keyboard shortcut V, and then I can just drag it around. Now, if you drag it too far in any one direction, you're going to start seeing the actual color of the shape that we created. Now, if I wanted to change the circle, maybe the size of it or reposition it, I can go down to that shape layer. I'll just click it there in the layers panel. I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control T. That brings up my transform tool. And now I can resize it and move it around as I like. And when I'm finished with that transform tool, I'll just press the return or enter key. Now let's go ahead and trim this down to get rid of the excess transparency. To do that, I'm gonna go up to image and then go down to trim. Here at the top, I wanna to make sure that transparent pixels is selected. And then I wanna trim away all of the sides. So I'm gonna make sure all of those boxes are checked. Then I'll click okay. Now to save this, I wanna save it as a file that will support transparency. So I'm gonna go up to File, Save a Copy. And then in this Format dropdown, I'm just gonna make sure that I have PNG selected. And then I'll go ahead and click Save. Now when you save your file with this transparency, that checkerboard area that you see in the background is not going to be visible. That's only a representation inside of Photoshop to let you know that it's actual transparent space that you're seeing. 
I have one more option here. I'm going to choose between a large, a medium, or a small size. I usually like to pick the small size. It takes a little bit longer to save the file, but then I have a smaller file size to deal with. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now if I head over to that image in my folder and I click on it, I can preview it and see that that transparent area is now surrounding that circle and the checkerboard is gone. So I have a nice transparent background on this photograph. Now let's go ahead and have some fun and see what we can do with a custom shape in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna head over to that shape tool on the left. I'm going to right click it and you really can use almost any of these tools to kind of create the same effect. You're not really gonna get much out of the line tool, but you could use the rectangle, make a triangle or a polygon, or what we're gonna do here is create a custom shape. So I'll choose that custom shape tool. And if I go up to the very top, there's a little drop down that allows me to choose the shape that I want. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier though, and I'm going to access the shape panel by going up to window, and then down to shapes. So now I can actually see these shapes here on the right. And if I also go over to this little drop down here, I can actually add more shapes that are just defaulted into Photoshop, but you have to actually choose them from this list. So I'm gonna choose the legacy shapes and more. And now if I click this drop down, I have a ton of different shapes that I can work with. So I highly suggest that if you are kind of working with these shapes to kind of, you know, find that legacy shape option and work with it. So now I'm just gonna go down to one of the shapes here and I'll go ahead and choose a heart. And again, I'm going to click and draw over my image, but before I do that, I'm gonna go up to my options. I'm going to set my stroke to nothing and I'm going to change my fill to any color and let's go ahead and use red. So now I'm just going to drag my heart over the image. Again, I can press and hold that space bar to kind of move it around and resize it. And you can always change these after the fact, but I think I'm kind of getting a pretty good shape position that I want. So now I have my heart. I'm gonna go over to my layers panel. I'm going to click that little lock icon to unlock the layer, drag it up above the shape, press and hold the Option or Alt key, and then hover in between those two layers and click. So now I have a nice custom shape there. Now, if you do want to actually add a border to your image, I kept having you remove it because I wanted to show you what it looks like if you just have a nice clean edge. But you can actually add a really quick colored border by using those options at the top with that shape tool active. So the first thing you want to do if you want to do any editing to your shape is you want to start out by clicking the shape in your layers panel and you also want to make sure that you have the shape tool selected. So you want to make sure that it's active over there in the toolbar. Then you just go up to that stroke option at the top and you can choose a color. Uh, you can also add a pattern if you like. So you can see I'm just kind of playing around with some of those options. There's also gradients, which can add a really neat and kind of unique look. And I'm just adding these quickly here, uh, but this is a really good way to add a border to your image on an existing shape layer without having to jump into the actual layer styles to create the effect. And then when you're finished, you want to go up to image trim to trim away those transparent pixels. Make sure you get all sides there and then click OK. And then of course, once you have your finished file, you can save it again as a PNG.